let me up with a bright smile. Hello, YouTube fans. You're back with me again, Senna from East Tackle. On today's show, we're gonna talk about how to uh, rockfish. Rockfish or mebaru fishing is a Japanese fishing style that develops in Japan mostly because they have plenty of coastline and rocky shores. But this can be applied into all kinds of species in Southeast Asia and all over the world. All over the world, which has a lot of coastline, like if you're in the north northwest or east coast of Australia. No, it's like west coast. Sorry. Yeah, east coast actually. Correction. East coast is the correct. East coast of Australia. We have a lot of uh, rocks. Uh, it will work too. Uh, the setup is fairly simple. You don't really need a lot of uh, fancy stuff. If you, even though you can go fancy, uh, you just use a uh, uh, like an, a specialized mebaru or a jing rod. I uh, preferably with a uh, solid tip because the tip will give you an indication of the strike uh, from a very small fish. Uh, a main line between 0.3 to 0.4 pe. Uh, a reel about the size between 500 to uh, 2000 but uh, in this case I'm using a 2000 size reel the leader about six to four pound six pounds about the max uh, for this application four pounds best you can go three but it's kind of getting in a danger zone of uh, getting your losing your uh, jig uh, one thing uh, people like to tie straight on but I like to use a snap this is called an ajing snap I'll show you in the picture and it's quite it's fairly easy to put in to put out it's not like a conventional snap uh, if in the if you're familiar with indonesian fishing uh, using bait in a pond uh, the snap is fairly similar to that but it's it's much more robust and made of stainless steel and the jig head is fairly simple it's a stainless steel hook with a lead jig head so it's a lot different from the jig head that you found for uh, if you're living in the US, like uh, the Berkeley or any kind of the uh, the Norton, Norton Lures jig head, because the jig head is, th those jig head are made from uh, high carbon steel and they will rust. But this type of jig head, they won't rust, they'll last. They're more of an investment because they're pretty, pretty, pretty pricey for the, for the, I guess, for the amount of hooks you get for the jig head. So without further ado, I'm using right now uh, a Berkeley power bait, but there are further specialized bait for uh, mebaru and aji fishing. But I use the Berkeley just for snap, I guess for fun. <laughs> I guess it's easier for people to get, especially if you guys live in the US and decide to come and visit us here in Indonesia. Uh, just grab a couple of uh, Berkeley power bait grub at your local uh, fishing store bring a 1000 size reel that you can find and you can buy you can bring a like a four pound uh four pound braided line or a three pound braided line and you're good to go you can go as far as two pound but it's like pushing it <laughs> but yeah so without further ado let's start fishing and during this fishing session i'll i'll talk while i fish so the objective is how to understand what type of style of retrieve and what you're aiming for because this type of fishing tends to end up losing tackle more because uh, you're fishing in the rocks and rocks and lines are not a very good friend. So simple cast. You won't cast far. You don't need to, to spend a lot, of, a lot of energy, power casting it. Just a simple swing and close your bail arm and start hopping. You might want to let the jig head drop first and just like start working your bait. Just simple like lift and wind lift and wind lift and wind just like that the simple lift and wind will work because we have a lot of bait fish really fine bait fish you can also use a really fine uh, lure for this type of application so you don't need a lot of effort, it's just cast, repeat, cast, repeat, cast, repeat, just a simple cast. You can sit down like this also and just like cast and wind. Cast and wind will work, but on this particular situation we have a lot of vegetation. 
So I don't think cast and wine will work very well. Because so we're gonna smack. So what what I'm gonna do is move to a different location. So since this area in Thank you to fans, I'll see you on the next episode, thank you for watching and good hunting, bye bye.